A company's sales in Seattle were $370,000 in 2012, while their sales in Portland were 275000 for the same year. We want to complete the following statements. Let's first focus on A and B. A. Seattle's sales were a certain percent larger than Portland's. B. Portland's sales were a certain percent smaller than Seattle's. So for a quick review, to find the relative change, which gives a percent change, we take the absolute change given above and divide by the starting quantity, where the starting quantity is called the base. Notice how the absolute change is the absolute value of the ending quantity minus the starting quantity. So in our example, we don't really have an ending and starting quantity because we're comparing sales between two cities for the same year. But we can still use this idea. For statement A, Seattle's sales were what percent larger than Portland's? Since we'll compare absolute change in sales to Portland sales, Portland's sales will be the base. In part B, we'll compare the absolute change in sales to Seattle sales, and therefore Seattle sales will be the base. But in both cases, we'll begin by determining the absolute change. So for A, we want to know how much larger Seattle's sales are to Portland sales. So we'll take the absolute value of 370,000 minus Portland sales of 275,000. And then again, we'll divide this by the base, which would be Portland sales. So notice here, we're going to have the absolute value of positive 95,000. Because the number inside the absolute value is positive, this is the reason why we know Seattle sales are larger. Now we'll convert to a decimal and then a percent. To convert to a decimal, we'll divide. The absolute value of 95,000 is just 95,000. We'll divide this by 275,000. Enter. This is the decimal value. To convert to a percentage, we can move the decimal point to the right two places or just multiply by 100 and then add a percent sign. We do want to round to one decimal place. Notice how the four in the hundreds place value indicates the round down. So our answer is approximately 34.5%. So Seattle's sales were approximately 34.5% larger than Portland sales. Now for part B, the absolute change is going to be the same, but I do want to calculate it again to show the difference. We want to complete the statement, Portland's sales were a certain percent smaller than Seattle's sales. So to find the absolute change, here we would take the absolute value of Portland sales 275,000 minus Seattle sales of 370,000. And now we'll divide by Seattle sales of 370,000. So notice here the absolute change will be the same as part A. But notice how here we would have the absolute value of negative 95,000. The negative inside the absolute value is the reason why we know that Portland sales were smaller. Now we'll convert to a decimal and then to a percent. So the absolute value is still going to be positive 95,000 divided by 370,000. Enter times 100. This is our percent. If we round to one decimal place, notice how the seven and the hundredths indicates to round up. So this would be approximately 25.7%. So Portland sales were approximately 25.7% smaller than Seattle's sales. And then finally for C, we want to complete the statement Portland sales were a certain percent of Seattle sales. So now we're comparing Portland sales to Seattle sales. Once again, Seattle sales will be the base. So part C is a little bit different. We're not determining the absolute change. We're just comparing Portland sales of 275,000 to Seattle sales of 370,000. So now we'll divide to convert to a decimal and then to a percent. So we have 275,000 divided by 370,000. 
enter, times 100 to convert to a percentage, round to one decimal place, so the percent would be approximately 74.3 percent. So Portland sales were approximately 74.3 percent of Seattle sales. I hope you found this explanation helpful.